Each year, on her birthday, the king and queen release thousands of lanterns into the sky in hope that one day their lost princess would return. I've always loved the movie Tangled, and um, it was actually one of the first Disney paintings that I did. I painted Rapunzel's Tower. Um, but I, I love the, the city of, of Corona and the floating lanterns as they kind of just float from the from the city off into the sky um, and so I've always wanted to try to paint that and starting 2023 for, for my live streaming kickoff I decided to paint that using oil paints um, and using nothing but a palette knife so this is a 20 by 24 inch canvas a stretched canvas and I am using just a palette knife and my oil paints to paint in the sky, paint in the city, um, and try to capture an interpretation of that scene from the movie Tangled. I actually chose to do this particular scene at sunset as opposed to at night. Um, that's probably going to be the main difference between this painting and other interpretations um, but I really do love sunset and I love the colors that I can get from that and so I wanted to be able to capture that I was concerned at first that the floating lanterns wouldn't wouldn't show up as as well with the lighter sky but it turned out perfectly in my opinion so with a palette knife you literally just scrape the paint onto the canvas and you don't worry too much about detail work and you don't worry too much about capturing every little nuance instead it's more about the interpretation of the scene it's about the interpretation of what you're looking for um, and so this is actually done over two sessions and in the first one I did the sky and I put in the city and some trees and the water and such um, and then the second session I went in and I literally just spent most of that time putting in the floating lanterns putting in the different lights um, varying the shades varying the colors varying the layout to make sure it wasn't too stiff to make sure it flowed the way the way lights released into the sky might flow um, and it turned it turned out really well um, and then after I got the lights in there for a bit I went in and kind of put in a few more details on the city itself and, and on the water and whatnot um, just to make sure that all of that was was captured but the end result is a painting I was really really pleased with and um, it made for a very good um, first first painting for, for my streaming for Twitch and uh, Instagram Live. So for those of you who weren't able to join in the live stream, this should be a very quick way to kind of get the, the, the process and see kind of how that works out but in the future if you'd like you can always follow along at twitch.tv slash happiest paints and then I also put uh, the original and limited edition prints uh, on my website as well which you can find at happiestpaintsonearth.com uh, the original for this one has actually already sold um, it has not shipped out yet because even two weeks later the paint is still drying. That's one of the downsides of palette knife paintings is that it does take quite a while for it to dry properly. Um, but once it's dried it will be framed and shipped out. Uh, however, there are limited edition prints available on the website. But I hope you enjoyed this and please feel free to join me. Um, Wednesday nights at 9 for on Twitch for my uh, next stream. Have a good one.